There we go. Oops. I don't want to pull out the mini nuke. Don't pull out the mini nuke. Yeah, that'd be a bit excessive. Yeah. I, I, I actually nuked myself this morning. Oh, shit, I caught it on footage. There was a big event going on, and there was, like, enemies everywhere. And I didn't have any scrap on me. So I knew I wasn't going to lose anything. And there was, there was a bunch of players fighting. And, you know, I have it so that I'm not hurting other players. So I said, you know what? The hell with it. So I pulled out the mini nuke, and I fired and took out the entire event. <laughs> And then I came back and picked up my bag of, like, five wood scraps. I'm like, I win! <laughs> the Squadron 42 update, um, which is good. It's nice to see uh, to, to have a, a defined roadmap. Since they say quarter two, uh, 2020 for beta testing, I'm going to say now uh, quarter three to quarter four. Because nothing ever lines up the way that they want it to. Well, if they're talking about beta testing, doesn't that mean there will also be an alpha test? Oops. Well, I don't maybe maybe they, maybe the word testing is the wrong word. Um, status beta status. Uh, I would hope that to some degree that Evocati, not just because I'm Evocati, but because I think it's smart to do like three maybe three episodes or three missions that we can play to test the mechanics and like you know. Or even just a mission that, you know, something that won't spoil the story or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, even if it's a, even if it's just a created test only test bed mission that just says, "Here's all the mechanics." That was my thoughts exactly. <laughs> and, just, and even if it's just like a throwaway mission that's actually not going to be right part of the game, but made in the very similar style. Exactly. They don't even have to like. They could have like. Um, okay, where the hell is the base? They could even do like throwaway voice acting, like. You know, like, there just, it is. just have, I don't know, Ben Lesnick read lines or something and then see how that works, <laughs> with, you know, with, with their choices dialed. The point is, is that they don't have to go out and, like, give out the actual parts of the story, but they can... You know. Oh, one thing that's cool about this ship is I have hydrogen thrusters for turbo mode! One thing's cool about my AVA is faster than your ship. Whoa! Well, oh, yeah, I, oh, I that, oh that, that was good. That, 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 I just ram into me? I, no, I hit a rock and died. <laughs> God, it's too fast. Too well, fast. the reason the EVA is faster than the ships is in case you fall out of the ship, it allows you to catch up to Where's it. Where's my body? Get my stuff. Now he's just drifting away. Get over here. I'm looking forward to hearing that official release date for Star Citizen. That's still maybe you know a couple years away, but like the official like good enough to go officially live because then I'll be looking at whatever computer equipment is out at that point in time and, and snagging a new PC. But I'm going to push well, this... If, if it's anything like what's going on right now, there's not going to be much of a difference between what you have now and what they're going to be selling you. Who knows? Technologies, um, technological advancements in two years, you never know what they're going to bump across. One of the things uh, that I that I wanted us to, to the reason for for playing the Citizen Engineers uh, is it, it makes good background footage for us to talk about space games uh, because yeah. it, it's a space game. Um, but another thing with Space Engineers, there's a lot of time. Like all this stuff, it's like wow, you've done a lot of stuff. But that's taken me like like a week to to get to this. Now, not playing a week straight without sleeping, but like over time it's taken me a week to get to this point. And my first large ship, I mean, it's barely even technically a flyable vessel at this point. Like it, I I'm it might have enough thrusters in all directions that it could theoretically stop. Yeah. Um actually I don't think it has any braking thrusters. But it has so little thrusters that it may not fly. Like it it might be too heavy. Even though technically it has thrusters in, in all directions besides forward. Um, but it takes a long time to get some of this stuff done. So it's one of those things where we could be like, hey, I want to make a ship and I want to test a theory, uh, you know, a video game theory. Thanks for watching. <laughs> it's such a stupid meme. Um, but like, you know, why would we record for like three hours of, of building a ship? I mean, unless you want to see a, a time lapse or something. Hopefully it wouldn't be three hours because that'd be an insane time lapse. Um, but we could come back to that and be like, oh, hey, here's the ship that we made. And this is the reason why we're going to test it. And and I think Space Engineers is a good testing platform for that because they do ships pretty well. 
It's similar to Kerbal in, in that regards. Um, but you can play with other people, and it yeah. doesn't run like ass or crash. <laughs> and Imperion has uh, big updates as well. Um, I think Imperion and, and, and the, the, is a direct competitor to Space Engineers. Uh, I, I think Imperion... I mean, that's another game we're going to get to, but there's like a really big patch that just dropped. Mm, I know. And that's it's what I said. part one of two. Yeah. Um, and if they get so, shields online, I if they uh, actually yeah. get shields online, it will put, in some regards, it will put it in the lead over Space Engineers because shields on a, on a voxel based building system, actually putting shields on your ship, that's a huge deal. And the fact that now that things are repaired to blueprints, which is also a huge yep. deal, that, that was. Because it was so frustrating to build a really intricate and detailed ship, and then suddenly you got to figure out what parts are missing after something hits it. Um, yeah, the repair to blueprint is definitely a huge step up. Now, technically, you can do the same in Space Engineers, because, but because yeah. it's so tedious to build things again. Yeah, yeah. Um, like if you look at all this, this you know, framework I have, you know, mm-hmm. if like look at the, this engine here. Well, you also have to build a facility to actually then do the repair, do the rebuild repair. So you get, it's like it's like layers yeah. on that. So it's 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 or a, or, a, or a ship that's going to do the repair. Exactly. For you. So it's like there's like there's more layers on that, which is I mean I I understand that's fine, but at the same time it, it can be a little it can be a little frustrating. So you put a lot more hours into Stellaris now, the new expansion. How do you feel about it? Uh, besides like two minor complaints, I think it's a it's a good good step forward. I mean, if you wanted to to play it, uh, I'd be down. 